Right, it's rather late for me to do the plan A, which was to do um, the beacon and, and all that. Um, beacon Hill, be all up that way. I've got to cut it out because the bus was about 40 minutes late. So I haven't got over here till 10 past 11, probably later than that now. So I've really, I'm a bit nuller. So I'm, I'm, I'm still going to go to Holford, but I'm going to have to do it a different way. Um, I can't, I've got to cut the whole of that hill out. So there's no time. But I just thought I'd just pop in and show you the Church of St. George. It's a beautiful day. So I've had to come out and make the most of it because it, the weather changes so frequently now. You can't sort of say, oh yeah, I'll go out Wednesday because Wednesday's supposed to rain. <coughs> But it's always such a beautiful little village, this. I have videoed it quite a few times. There's the thatch one. It looks like it needs repair to the roof. Summer's here, so it's a good time to do it. And um, the hills are above. There's a little stream running down through there, look. Coming off the hills. Like I said, I've had to cut my walk short today because the bus was really late. It was picking loads and loads of people up with luggage for going to Butlins. It was, it was packed. So I thought, oh God. I'll, what I'll have to do really is get an, either come out on a Saturday so I can get out here earlier. Um, they're doing quite a bit of advertising for the pub now. There's little signs. A lot of people don't know where the pub is when they get here, see? Of course, there is a walk that way. I know, that goes to Crocombe. But I haven't done that one yet. Down Trendle Lane. So this was just a little basic introduction. Just a basic introduction. of my arrival in Bicknoller, which I haven't done for quite a while because I've been doing um, West Bagborough and Crocombe quite a bit for those areas. So this area has been, haven't really been here really for, I would say, look at them, aren't they gorgeous, those ones, are that? I haven't been here for about 18 months to Bicknoller. Because of exploring different areas. So we're going through the village now. I'll be turning off in a minute and heading up towards the hills and the Coleridge Way. The poets. There's a little shop here. They sometimes let you have the key if you need to use the ladies as well, which is always handy. Sometimes the doors are open and you can go in. But here's the, the little shop here. I'll take a picture again. I look as I've videoed this quite a few times on my walks. And this is always a great view here, uphill lane. So I'm going to turn off now. I'll, t I'll turn back on when I get up to the gate at the top. Over and out. There's always a reason to come back. The one today will be. I've got to cut out at least two things today. Unless I make my mind up to actually get a much later bus. Um, like five o'clock, half past five. Which I might have to get anyway. Because basically I, I can't do the beacon and I might not be able to do our folks and house either. I don't know if I can fit it in. I might literally have to go along Lady's Edge straight down to Holford, past the plantation trees uh, and have my picnic. Then have a nice gentle walk back through Holford. I might have to do that today and do the other walk when I can get over here at nine o'clock or half past nine. That's the possibility of that would have to be a Saturday. Uh, 
So anyway, here I am. I'm on what's called the Coleridge Way. Quite often I'm coming back this way and rushing to get a bus. I used to love it when I had my van. I could park up at Holford. Never thought of the time. I could get back in the van for eight o'clock in the evening. No panic, just take me time. Now I've got to squash everything in. It's now we'll be going on for midday and I've only just got out here. The morning's nearly gone. So basically I am a bit annoyed that I didn't check the bus properly. I didn't, it was partly my fault. For, what, for some reason I thought there was a bus at 10 past 10. And it wasn't, it was 10.34. And then it was 10 minutes late. Then it took 20 minutes to get everyone on board who were going to Butlins with all their luggage. God, it was awful. It's a learning curve. It's a learning curve. I'm not 100% either. I've been feeling dizzy a lot. And, um... Um, there's been a mess, there was a mess up with my pills, my blood pressure pills, so I'm not stable really at the moment, but I, I can't avoid coming out. Do you know what I mean? I've been looking forward to this, but I don't mind cutting it short because it's silly to try and think I can fit everything in when I know I can't. I'd have to miss out Holford if I did the beacon. I'd have, to, I'd have to miss out Holford and um, I don't particularly want to. It's gorgeous, I know, that's enough of the moaning now, but this is the problem with public transport I'm afraid. And of course it's the journey home as well, bus and train. And there were, there were quite a few disabled people getting on as well with wheelchairs and it's not their fault, basically the driver had to help navigate people into positions. Right, we're going to stop talking about buses now until later. Let's talk about nature. Let's talk about this beautiful oak tree and the ticks that are waiting for you. Now, I haven't put the spray on. I overdid it last week and I wondered if that had affected my blood pressure as well. I overdid it. So, there's a good chance I won't get tickified. It's very pretty though, isn't it, here? Yeah. <sighs> See, I want to take my time. Which I normally do. <clears throat> and I wanted to do this route because it's in the shade. Whereas, if I'm going to do Holford, i got to just not make a decision. I'll be in, the, I'll be out exposed a lot. To be quite honest, I will be exposed. I've got a hat. And I need to start having a drink. In a minute. Oh, look at those pretty, pretty flowers there. Pretty, isn't that? Is it laurel? Um, not quite sure, but they're really pretty. They brighten up the green.
I mean, just going along this one little stretch is just so beautiful. I bet there are a few snakes about today hiding in the bracken, don't you? I wouldn't risk walking through anything like that, wouldn't you? No. Just keep an eye out. Sometimes I'll come on a pathway where they might just come out on the surface. This is adder country, don't forget. Adder and tick truck country, this is. So beautiful. Isn't it? Yeah. It's bloody gorgeous, isn't it? Look at that. Those probably come from the landscape gardens further over. That I, near the the bit I wanted to go to. There's still a chance I could do it, but I'd have to miss out old Fox and House. And fit that in another time. I mean, I could miss it out. Basically, what it is, I only walk past it. And um, I could try and fit it in another time. As part of another route that I might do. The important thing is my picnic at Holford. So I either make a very big decision when I get down here, which means go up this coombe, forget about going skirting the beacon, and just go straight up the coombe, and then over. It's up to you, Shil, but you will be out in the open. Well, as soon as you leave this this lovely shaded wooded area, you will be going up right into the heat. Well, you might see some deer. That's a compensation. Well, I think you should do that. I think what you should do today, because there's no time, is go up the coom here in a minute. Not quite yet. Got to get through these trees first. Go up the coom, straight over to Lady's Edge. Forget about old Foxen. Go straight to Holford. Especially as you're not 100%. Have your picnic and walk leisurely back up through the coom. I think that's what you should do today. And then come out another time, possibly on a Saturday, on a Saturday. There's going to be strikes, don't forget. You've got to be prepared for strikes with the trains. Um, and do our Fox and House and the Beacon on the second visit. That's what I think you should do. So gorgeous, isn't it? I love this place. Just imagine Coleridge and Wordsworth and Dorothy, Wordsworth's sister, walked here. And probably other other famous friends of theirs. Maybe Jane Austen. Maybe Jane Austen. Yeah, we've made our mind up. We've got to go into the heat though. Uh, the route I'm taking won't have any sh shade at all. I mean, this is the safe route, really. What I'm doing now, down here. Isn't it? Yep. <sighs> when I get to the turning in a minute, that's when I'll make the final decision with what to do. Um, I'm going to have to be out in the open at some point, but I'll put my hat on. I'll take my jumper off. And I'll have a big gulp of water. I've got a lovely picnic. But I'm not allowed to eat anything. I might be able to nibble something on the way around Lady's Edge. Um... But keep the jelly and all the cake and all that for. I don't know if you put the cake in, did you? 
No, I think you forgot. Oh, never mind, we've got other stuff. I might have to eat the chocolate pretty quick. But if I eat anything, I'll get really bad indigestion. All right, we're nearly at the turning. I'll know when I'm there. It isn't actually far after here to where I was thinking of going. Not really, that's just the other side of that hill. So if you need to decide, Sheila, do you want to do that? And do Lady's Edge? Walk around that bit? Or do you want to go straight up here now? Um, I've got to decide, it's awful. It's awful making that decision. Look at that view there, look, all the plants. Um, I'm just worried about the time, to be quite honest. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm really worried about the time, not having the time. There's an occasional tree on the way up for shelter. So here we've got the Quantock Greenway. And there's various ways down to the road as well if you needed to catch a bus. Um, if not, we got to go up there. I think that's the one we go up. Let me just check. Yeah, with the trees on the top. I think it's this one. Is it this one? Hmm, I think so. Yeah. Right, you've got to decide. So I'm just going in the shade for a drink. I'm making the decision. I'm just going to stand here for a minute and make a decision. Because of lack of time. Oh, look at that. Right, I'm just going to turn off on the...